So I'm up here getting a little work done at Triple T. We're getting ready to finish the driveway. Here's the uh, the triax that we're using from uh, Tensar. Uh, the first part of the driveway where you can see the, the truck up there sitting and trailer. We use what was called, I think, uh, a biax or biaxle. Uh, this is called triax. Um, um, I may not have those terms correct, but if you go to Tensar's page, you can uh, you can look at them. They they told us that this is a little bit better, and we can use less stone putting it down. You can just see I'm just staking in to kind of hold it in place. I'm um, getting set up for um, when we come back um saturday we got trucks coming in we'll be putting down twos and threes um right now for some reason a covid reason i guess um there is uh there's no asphalt grindings at least none reasonably priced um so there's a culvert we put across that's you know you can drive over that culvert they'll be in this area here it's pretty soft so we're expecting this to be um probably six to eight inches through here and then once we get to this point uh the ground starts getting a whole lot better for us on the rise um that's our uh, korean war tent that we had set up for the winter but as you see where i cut to the left there that's going to be the pad that I'm, i have a 30 foot motorhome you'll see going in here pretty quick um but back to this it, this is a uh, i've used this material to do parking lots i've used this material to do driveways i've used this material uh commercially uh, i'm uh, my day life is a chief operations officer at a transit authority and if you have like soft areas in a parking lot um putting in drives roads uh, i wouldn't do it without it i mean this stuff is just amazing um uh, i've seen this stuff go down in, in very soft situations similar to this and uh you know, have triaxle dumps uh, driving on 12 inches of material, 10 inches of material, 8 inches of material, and in, 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 you know, right away as soon as it's laid in and tracked in. So, um, this is a little bit rough in here. This is probably the roughest spot we've done with it. Um, so, it'll be uh, interesting to see how it comes out, but I have, uh, I'm, I have nothing but confidence. This stuff really is amazing. If you're putting a driveway in, and you have wet spots and you don't really want to dig down because you're going to have the situation of just digging into more wet. Uh, I can't recommend this stuff uh, um, enough. I've used this for, oh heck, 180 space parking lots that are basically are on fill of swamp. Um, it's, uh, it's just an amazing material. It's not crazy in price, especially when you figure how much work it saves you and stone it saves you. So... Um, you know, give it a shot. It's not, it's not, you know, the biax was great. This is the triax again. I know I'm not saying the exact terminology, but if you go to Tensar's page, great, great people to work with, great company. Um, and, uh, give them a shout and they'll, they'll walk you through it, uh, and explain, you know, what their recommendations are. But like I say, I have been, I've used it in a very loose way, you know, call it the redneck way but uh it's uh it's amazing you want to put a road in a driveway in this is your stuff if you aren't using this as a base and you're having any kind of uh water issues or soft soil issues you're you're crazy so anyhow that's it thanks
All right, guys. A little update up at Triple T. So we got our cattle gate, as you saw. That's the owner's pole out in front here. Driveway finished. Still want to put the uh, asphalt grinding down on top of the stone here, but it's pretty expensive at the moment, so we'll get there. So there's that. Got that power running back to the camper there. So, yeah, things are starting to come together up here for sure. Took a little bit of work for sure, but, uh, but we're getting there. We put this culvert in here, as you can tell, it's a little wet, right? So we gotta dig this out a little bit underneath us here. You can kind of see here, we got a culvert. We're gonna continue a ditch through the woods over there. That's where that low spot is, where we already dug out and it's draining. So that's a project we got coming up. Got our turnaround here. Got the camper, got a little fireplace and everything so we can extend the awning. We we'll come over here. One of the next projects we have is to grade this off down towards the ditch that we have somewhat dug out. We need to dig it out a bit more. Um, but as you can tell, we got standing water here. So we're gonna grade this off and then we're gonna put grass seed down and we're gonna um, put straw over top of that. We got the straw up here today. Gotta burn this off. That's where our swing's gonna go though. There's gonna be a little bridge over top of that water there. Um, so yeah. Making progress. Ready for turkey season, I'd say. Hey guys, if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to share it with your friends, and of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get the updates on new content as it comes out, and keep Breathe Country going strong.